Welcome back. This is our third and final refresh message this week. I'm Pastor Steve Green. Today is Friday, April 23rd. Our subject is Entering by the Narrow Gate. So we're in 2 Corinthians. Let's read chapter 6, starting in verse 11. O Corinthians! So Paul's been pleading with the Corinthians. Back in chapter 5 and verse 20, he says, uh, We implore you on Christ's behalf be reconciled to God. And then a couple of verses later in chapter 6 and verse 1, he says, we plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. So he's been imploring them. He's been pleading with them. And he continues here in verse 11 by saying, oh, Corinthians, he's still pleading with them. He, he wants to convince them of, of what it is that brings salvation to them. Uh, he, in the previous uh, eight verses prior to uh, verse 11, he's been defending the ministry. Um, he's saying that the issue isn't the ministry's fault. It's not the Word's fault. Uh, the fact that they need to live righteously is not his fault. It's not God's fault. It's just the way it is. Um, he says in chapter 6 and verse 3, and then as I say for eight verses, uh, we give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed. So any problems the Corinthians are having, it's not Paul's fault. <laughs> and it's not the Word of God's fault. Um, um, he's saying that they're in bondage, not because of the Word instructing them to live righteously. That's not where bondage comes from. He's saying the bondage comes from their own affections. We see that. Um, well, let's read in 2 Corinthians 6, verse 11 again. O Corinthians, we have spoken openly to you. Our heart is wide open. You are not restricted by us, but you are restricted by your own affections. So the solution to this is verse 11. Now, in return for the same, he says, you also be open. So it's going to be um, by not blaming Paul, not blaming the Word of God, not blaming God, but by opening their heart to the Word of God, that is going to release them from the control of their own affections, and they will not be under bondage. Instead of being under bondage, they will experience the salvation that comes through Jesus Christ. So then, it would be things, and there's numerous, numerous things, but perhaps being angry. There's a, a human desire to be angry at times in certain circumstances. There's a certain human desire to be dishonest in certain circumstances. There's a certain desire uh, to be sexually immoral. These are different temptations. These desires, these um, affections are the things that put us in bondage. Here the psalmist said in Psalm 119, 11, Your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. The word in our heart gives us power over our own affections. In John 8, 31, Jesus said, uh, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. It is the truth of the word of God that sets us free, sets us free from our own affections, allows us to live righteously, allows us to enjoy the benefits of salvation. Have a great weekend, everybody. Hope to see you soon.